Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, quarterback screen footwork. At least that was the idea of it. It morphs a little bit, but it comes right back to the theme. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. All right, so today's video comes from a question from Adam Hazel. Screen footwork. Do you have a QB School video on that? I never know if I'm teaching it right. I hit him back, and that's a good idea. And here we are, screen footwork. So that was the idea for the video. It morphs a little bit into basically my favorite screen, but let me talk quickly just about screen footwork and really screen execution more than anything else. So it really, like many things on this channel and in the world, it depends. Okay, so it depends on the type of screen, the tempo of the screen, the timing of the screen, uh, whether, whether it's maybe tethered to other elements. But let's just talk generic screen. Uh, most oftentimes, if the quarterback is in shotgun, three-step drop, set the launch point for the defensive line, and then from there, they have the ability to drift backwards if they want and can. But they have to know that Offensive tackles were, are often usually driving by those edge rushers. So you don't really want to get in the habit of just taking off backwards. It's really important to set that kind of launch point, usually three-step, three-step, hitch, and then just hold that landmark. And if you have to, you can bail, usually encouraged to bail to the side of the screen, but not mandatory, and then have a plan as far as if it's covered, if something happens, you throw it right at the feet of the uh, eligible receiver because inevitably, and this will happen, telling you right now it's happened to me as a player and as a coach uh, the screen isn't there for what for whatever reason the quarterback then scrambles and really you have two options you either need to initially throw it at the screen receiver's feet or you need to scramble you can't get outside the pocket and run and then throw it away inevitably that is a penalty all sorts of bad and so you got because you got uh, linemen downfield usually because of that because the timing of the screen so if it's not there at the feet or run it if you're a quarterback but the footwork itself is just normal three-step drop set the launch point uh, don't have to drift but if you need to drift drift towards the screen and then the other important part for me is the throw the throw is a really kind of a tweener tempo type throw it's not a uh, pitching wedge or a sand wedge or a hand grenade you're not bombing that thing up and over someone because the longer it's in the air the more time the defense has to react and you also can't throw you know a dart it's got to be really just kind of feathered over the near hand, the high point of that near defender, and that is the quarterback's job. So if a ball is tipped on a screen, any offense I've ever been in, that is the quarterback's mistake. you got to have the ability, the touch, to be able to pull the string and put that thing on point, on time, where it needs to be. And so those are the things that I look for, and we really spent a lot of time on it last year and felt like we were a pretty good screen team to the back. And so it comes from a lot of work, a lot of reps, and it really is a touch throw because sometimes you're making that throw, you know, not necessarily seeing exactly how it's going to end. Sometimes you get collision, got all sorts of bad. But this video specifically, uh, I went back and tried to find as many normal screens as I could possibly find. And I'm sure now that I put this out there, people will tell me where I can get the best screens. But I went back and watched the Saints last year, a handful of games. And they really don't run a lot of just traditional halfback screen left, halfback screen right. It is uh, They run some variations of a bunch of different ones, but the ones that I really liked were off of play action. And that's really one of my favorite screens to begin with. I think it's one of kind of the bummers about being in shotgun. You lose some play action elements. You lose some screens off the play action. And so the, the essence of it at the back end, it's the same. Fake the play action, come back, set the launch point, and then if you can put it on a straight line on a firm, nice firm ball right on the uh, running back's face, that's usually the best way to do it. If you have to, you find the lane and uh, and put it on him. The other things that we'll talk about are some of the offensive line blocking downfield rules as far as what they're looking at, first, second, third, die type getting out and protecting the screen. And so those that's it. I'm excited. It was supposed to be screen footwork. I just couldn't find necessarily traditional screens and so let's go back take a look at this and it really is one of my favorite screens so check it out so the saints one of my favorite screen teams in the league drew Brees does a great job great play design by peyton here pay attention to the split flow element of this again just the throw take it back here to the to the snap the throw of this thing is right on time right on point that's part of the one of my favorite things about it just boom right on him kind of 
going away again booting away it's got a little bit more of a, a trick them get them smoke and mirrors type look from the back end though watch the split flow with hill seven coming across again all these are always built off the runs of the week but for me it's just a it's a clean easy watching breeze at the very back so he hits it hits that foot down and boom it's out and again it's not a hand grenade it's not a sand wedge it's up and out right on him. The big guy's getting out and blocking on front too. Nice job. I love seeing big guys in the league get out there and throw, try to cut on people. Can't necessarily do that at every other level. Again, another play action one here. Just a quick fake. Boot. Put your foot in the ground. Get it out. Now this one is a lot easier. I will say from the offensive line standpoint, I really love when there's a Offensive line designated for the trail. And what I mean by that is the trail. It looks like the right guard here. Watch the right guard and we'll see it from the back. He's going to get out there and then peek. Turn his head back and see if he sees any peelers. Defensive linemen coming from the back right there. He's looking back. That ball hasn't even left Drew's hand yet. He's checking for the peaks. Nobody there. He gets engaged. That's a bad feeling if you're 25 seeing three offensive linemen run at you. Again, we'll see it from the, this side. Watch the guard on our left side, the offensive right guard. He gets out, peeks back. There it is. Again, just from the quarterback footwork-wise, on these play-action ones, little half boot, set it, get it up and down. The throw here is really what makes these screens, really all screens, perimeter screens, halfback screens. It's the perfect amount of touch, but not a fastball. It's also not a changeup. So it's a fine line, takes a lot of work, a lot of reps. Again, one more off the play action. Again, just a, this one's even a little quicker play action. Set it. Now it sure helps when the defensive end decides he's going to take the B gap. Again, this one is really nice by the, who is it? The right guard again. Working that trail. Picking off that peeler. You see him pick off the peeler, that defensive lineman. He's on him the whole way. Just rolls around him. That's a great job. I see some offensive linemen hitting the ground. Love that. Would love it even more if he actually got him. But still, it makes it clean for the back. A clean declaration to know where to cut. From the backside, again, Drew does a great job of the tempo of this throw. Just up and down. Quick little fake. Boop. And you see how fast it is. It's important to set it and then get it out. And that happens quick. That's as quick as you'll ever see. It's because the defensive end takes himself out of the play with the inside move. Again, see the big offensive lineman getting out there, throwing on somebody. Boom. Not the perfect execution, but still, I like it. And then I put this one on there. This is more of a split flow. This is one of my favorite screens. And what I mean by that is, when I say split flow, I'm thinking the back back here is starting on this side. Normal screen would be right here. Flow screen, split flow, he's going to come this way, come across. So it really makes it a little bit tougher on these linebacker types, especially in any type of man situation. And again, a coaching point for the offensive line and all the screen game is you want to make sure in a man situation that the person who has the back in man-to-man, -man, whoever steps up and is tracking this back, that that person gets blocked immediately. And they do an outstanding job on this screen doing that. So just a little tips and tricks to for the offensive line. Pass pro wise, right over into the screen game world. Again, you can watch. Well, I guess it's the right guard. There it is. He sees it the whole way. Really nice job. Again, the timing of this thing, exactly what I'm talking about. It's even better with Drew here. He goes full veteran mode, looks to the left, pumps to the left, comes back to the right. Again, you, nice job, not getting too much depth. Just happens really quickly. The tempo of the throw is the beautiful thing, though. But I love the look off pump. Right back, there it is. Again, another well-designed play with the shallow coming from the opposite side. Watch it from the back end here. It's even better. We'll see the picker. I'm going to guess it's 55. It's got the back. Watch 55 on the back here. Right guard. Boop. Nope. Again, really nice job. Look at Drew's footwork here. Again, three-step, shrug. Even more than three-step. little pedal back out. Pedal, shrug, quick throw. Again, the, the throw here is what's really impressive on all these screens. Well-tempoed, nice, accurate ball. 
Lots of good stuff. Lots of stuff to like about the screen game. The thing about it is the screen game has evolved in so many different directions that, you know, whether it's perimeter screens with bubbles or now screens or back screens off play action, there's just very rarely do you have to do the old school traditional half back screen right, half back screen left. There's there's better ways to manufacture some of those looks. But the footwork, the kind of the throw from the quarterback to any of the screens that come from the backfield is all really the same. Set the launch point. No, you can drift if you have to, but really it's all about getting the throw up and down, not getting tipped from any defensive lineman. I think it helps not to get tipped, especially if you're a shorter guy in a shorter with a shorter quarterback to do it off play action because it doesn't allow those linemen to feel like if it's a quick game that they get blunted, that all of a sudden they're going to stand and just jump. So you do a little play action fake. It allows them to really suck into that to where that launch point is, and then the quarterback just gets it really accurate, firm ball, Give the your playmaker a chance to make plays in space. All sorts of good stuff. Hopefully you dug the video. I appreciate it. I will see you next time. Have a good one.